Drive Club. Again. <laughs> uh, so what we're going to be doing today is driving this really odd looking car, which is the Renault Twin Run Concept. It's actually in the supercar class, along with quite a few pretty hefty cars, including the F12 Berlinetta, which is one of my favorite cars on this game. So I think it'll be pretty damn interesting to see how this thing's going to keep up against something like that. So let's back out of here and do what we normally do. We're going to first off go into a single event. We're going to go to a time trial and we're going to see how we're doing the time trial and then go against some AI and such. Uh, so let's go with this India track maybe or maybe go Scotland actually. Yeah, we'll go for uh, let's go for this point to point on Scotland see what that's like so we don't want to go for the like and hyper spot because we did that in the last drive club video we want to go to super this thing just doesn't fit this class at all it's <laughs> hatchbacks are such a weird car like they they seem taller and i don't know why because you can really sit in these supercars anyway you know obviously they're a bit higher and that sort of thing but it's, it's really odd because this is a super hatchback <laughs> We're going to see how we do in the super hatchback anyway. Let's see if she is a peach or a peach of garbage. That was so bad. Somebody literally shoot me for saying that. Oh my god. Holy crap. Oh, this thing sounds pretty damn cool for what it is. And it's responsive as well. This is... Uh... Oh my god. Look at that. That is incredible. So, oh my shite, look at the engine in the back there. It is literally a higher end car hidden away in a little hatchback. If you saw this, you'd think it's some rice had threw it together in the past 10 minutes. But look at it. <laughs> so, first impressions, as I said, it, it's something I wouldn't normally drive at all. Like, I wouldn't even bother touching it because it looks so bloody funky. But now if I saw someone in this, I could I could respect them somewhat for being like, different. Uh, it's like it, it grips well, other than when I just did then, like, it, it felt it kind of just, uh, yeah, failed a little bit. I don't know, it feels light, but it, it it's planted, and that's good. It probably to do with the bloody wing on the back of it, but it's got a camera at the front of it. Why has it got a camera? Oh my god, it, it's weird. I'm not used to a car being this bloody responsive. I need to be more gentle with how this car goes, so that's one thing I've got to do in the actual race. I'll, I'll be amazed if I can actually beat some, like, F12s and stuff in this thing, though. If I do, you guys have to... Oh my god, I wasn't even accelerating then. Why is it losing it, though? There's something really confusing me about these new cars. They all seem to do it. They all seem to lose traction pretty damn easily. They all feel light, but look a little bit heavier than they should, what well, they feel. It's such a weird feeling that I'm getting with these cars. But, maybe when we put them head to head against opponents, I'll do a little bit harder to kind of keep up with the competition and such. But, yeah, I'd say this is probably one of the better cars in the pack already from just like being so odd and different <laughs> it's like normally it's just like oh yeah here's here's a new hypercar for you to play with here's a new supercar oh yes Mc mclaren 12c or mclaren f uh, mclaren f12 ferrari f12 or 458 yeah those are the cars in our packs what about you yeah we're releasing a little hatchback that goes faster than an f12 if you push it <laughs> beautiful love it this guy should be hired or given a raise, I don't know, either or. Somehow, uh, Johnny Shen 168 only got a 3 minutes 53. I don't know what he was doing. If I really messed that up a couple of times there, how has he not done better than that? Maybe his first attempt. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, so let's jump into an event now against actual people. So if we go to race and then we go to, let's go for Canada. And let's go for this event. Uh, as for the opponents, I've got them on semi-pro. Let's keep it on the semi-pro. 11 opponents. Cool. Good to go. I'm interested to see how this will turn out. I'm wondering how well I'm going to keep up with everything. Like, I know it's going to be in the same class, so it's going to be pretty much balanced anyway. But it's a little hatchback, and 
it's smaller and it's easier to spin out from experience. <laughs> so I'm hoping that I'll be able to pull it out a bag with this one. Out, pull it out a bag. Literally just pull pull the car out of the bag. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to race it and see if I can win. Here we go. Looking beautiful as always. Look at all those trees. That is insane. They go... I just realized how many trees go into the distance. And they actually render them. They're not... I don't think they're like... Some of them are going to be presented at some points. But look how long the wing mirrors are. This is just such an odd car. We've got an SLS in here. We've got another one of us. I, I forgot the bloody name of it. <laughs> the little Renault twin something. Oh, Jesus Christ. Everybody's pulling away. This is not fair. Maybe I can catch them in the corners. Like, I, I'm literally flooring it, but I, they, they were pulling away. Okay, this is just bollocks. <laughs> I just took an R8. Like, it was nothing. Is that SLS shunting me? Look, I know you want to win, but oh god, there's the Expo, which honestly hasn't really been driving too well for me. There's the F12, eaten alive. God, this thing's impressive. I'm impressed with this car already. I should be able to see with the front because I've got a camera on the front. The camera is pretty much useless to me. It'd be cool if it was a replay camera though. Just, I, I guess you can actually. Because you could go on the bonnet view and that, probably, that could probably be technically the bonnet view. I don't want to change gear because we're going to a corner. Oh God, that was a bit brutal. So we're in fifth place already. Uh, I say already, we should have been in fifth place by now already because look at the, the progress in the event. We're on 45, 70, 47, 75, bloody hell. Big difference there, Theo. We're pretty much halfway through the event, so we need to be at least halfway in the pack, otherwise we've got no bloody chance of coming first place. So it seems that I get them on the corners, but on the straights, they're, yeah, they've, they've got it. Though I'm being really cautious in the corners at the same time, so I, I haven't technically got it. Such an odd car. What? <laughs> Who thought to add this car in? The man's a bloody genius. Make it. Let him make his own DLC packs. Don't don't let anyone else make them. If it was one guy that chose all the cars, then okay, fair enough. It's fine. Just pick a few more of these. And I really want to know what the hell does that red button do? Is it NOS? <laughs> If someone can find out for me, I, I will thank you in the comment section, obviously. If you tell me in the comment section or Twitter or whatever. Oh my god, that w it's, it's much more sharp and precise. But you can definitely tell it's a car that's been upgraded and changed out of its comfort zone to get to where it is. Because it, it just doesn't feel right. <laughs> it, it's got the responsiveness of a hatchback. But you can lose it, and it's not got the speed that you could really think of in this class. Don't you, Jesus Christ, sixth, seventh place, because I cocked it up right at the end. Oh. Right, well, that didn't go too great. So what I'm going to do is actually going to do another one for that car, because I think it'll be interesting to try on a, on a track with maybe a few more cars or something. So if we go to race, go to Norway, this is a track I quite like. Because it begins with a lot of corners and then it ends with a quite a nice amount of straights and stuff. So it's such a weird little guy. <laughs> it's so confusing to me. Who thought that they would add this car in with like the Lycan Hypersport and the M5, which is quite high up. And it's like... You'll throw this thing in. I, I didn't know it existed. This guy must really like his cars. <laughs> he must search a lot of variety of cars up on the interwebs while he's at work. Someone should look into that. Check his history. I hope it's cars that you find on there anyway. <laughs> so I think I've actually done it in reverse. I can't quite tell here. No, I haven't. Okay. It just started in the tunnel because I'm at the back of the pack when normally I do a time trial here, so... I'm not used to see. Look how far they bloody pull away from me at the start. That's just not fair. And then it, they slow down so I can catch up to them. I don't want to shunt him because if I did, then I would have got penalised for that. Move out of the way, pre-order SLS. I have a laser in my in my top of my car. That's what it is. It's not a camera. It's a freaking laser. That's what the red button does. 
<laughs> Press the red button and the laser fires out of that camera looking thing there. It's meant to look like a camera. It's supposed to look like some form of camera that's for high paced racing, but it's, it's a laser or a sonic screwdriver of sorts. I love the little shifter there though. I'm in top gear. This thing's gonna blow up! Change gear for crying out loud! Oh shit! Okay. Now it sounds like a freaking tractor. This is not designed for high speeds, okay? If you're looking for a car that is designed for high speed, don't go with this. I mean, it's quick enough to get you to a couple of places in the top, but you're not going to really want to use this car for when you get in the first place. I knew there was something weird about this car. There, there had to be. You can't just have this car and not have an issue with it. It just tops out. For, for number one, it, you, you can't see what freaking speed you're going because the wheel is in the way. Who designed that? Shoot them. <laughs> number two, there's not enough gears. <laughs> Come on, change it up. Gets past these and explodes. <laughs> Come on, I just really want to gear. I can't even see what gear I'm in, look. It, the, the wheel just literally blocks the dash. Though, to be honest, you don't really need to see what speed you're going because you, you don't really go that fast anyway. <laughs> okay, let's go to the rear view here. So we're going about 150. That's the max speed of this thing, 153. <laughs> I love that tunnel so much and I could literally floor it through here because this thing is just not going any quicker than this. <laughs> what a bloody little car this is. Can we actually get past this guy? Now we're going to shunt him. Oh my god, that was a cheeky move. Fourth place there. That, that went really well towards the end. So, what did we learn today? Don't make a freaking little tiny car like this and limit it to 150 when you're putting against bloody... I don't know what. But that was a lot of fun, I'm not going to lie. So, thank you for so much for joining us for this video on Drive Club. If you did enjoy, be sure to hit that like button. It does help a damn lot, as you already know. If you stuck around for a while, if you're new here, hit subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Peace.